Aquarius, how you doing? I hope all is well with you and yours. Thank you so much for joining me here at Just Be Tarot. I truly appreciate it, Aquarius. I haven't been feeling at my best, so I didn't do a couple of readings these last few days. But I wanted to come on and give you your message for today, Sunday, October 2nd. And then I'll be posting the monthly for anyone who has Aquarius in their chart. Sun and Rising, North Node and Jupiter, as well as Capricorn. Excuse me. As well as Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. So let's see. Let's get a message for today, Holy Spirit, please. So we're going to use these cards first. Let's see. So secrets. Okay. That's what wanted to stay out. Um, Secrets. Let's see. I don't know. Um, you know, a secret could be something hidden within us or secrets that we're finding out about outside of us ourselves. This could also talk about what is hidden within ourselves that we share with no one else. Okay. Um, let's see. This is um, Scorpio energy here. And then we have a quarrel. Okay. So we could be um, experiencing... A revealing, okay, um, and it causes a fight, an argument, okay, regarding how it's making us feel. Somebody may, we have flattery in reverse. So the way these cards are coming out, as I already showed you, secrets, quarrel, but you can see these are two um, people here looking at one another, okay, and then we have this flattery in the reverse so far what i'm seeing here intuitively what i feel the first scenario i'm getting is that there's some type of secrets that you're finding out about yourself scorpio energy looking beyond the surface of your exterior and really going within here to blossom and bloom and grow and go through a metamorphosis turning your back to everything else and really working on self and with this revealing or unveiling, there is the old you versus the new you. There could be an inner, ba an inner battle. In this inner battle, you know, the old you may have, may have had some type of struggle when it comes to, um, you know, the way we talk to ourselves. I'm getting Gemini energy for this. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, but this is Libra, okay? So there's um, an imbalance with the way that we talk to ourselves, Aquarius, all right? It's about how we view ourselves because some things that we talk bad about ourselves, um, it is an outdated way of thinking, an outdated way of seeing ourselves because what we have done, said, or did in the past, but those things are dead and dormant. They only still have life because we hold on to it, if that makes sense. And so I do feel this energy here of that for others, for others, this is someone outside of ourselves that we may have found out um, something may be revealed, okay? And it's causing a struggle with someone else. And they may be saying bad things about you behind your back. Um, but this is the first card out, Secrets. So, uh, let's see. Um, then we have innovation. In reverse, Aquarius energy. Yeah, there's an imbalance within you, Aquarius, I feel. And anyone outside of you may add to this energy. So, it's going to be super important for you um, to protect your aura protect your energy because I feel that not only are you going through the super natural transformative energy but with that comes the ability to pick up other people's energy and that may also interfere with this kind of um, thing that you're going through here 
Okay, so the romance card wanted to come out sideways and I'm going to leave it that way. Let's see, what's crossing the romance card since it wanted to come out sideways here? Um, clear and concise messages for Aquarius was coming out. Rebellion, yeah, in reverse, okay. Rebellion is also Aquarius energy, all right? It's about being in the mind, in the headspace, and um, standing up for oneself, but being wise enough to choose your battles, being wise enough to rebel against what really is meaningful to you. With the rebellion in reverse, though, Aquarius, and with it being Aquarius energy here, okay? It's Aquarius energy here, rebellion. This is what it looks like upright. It's choosing our battles here, okay? And literally getting through these obstacles. Like I said, I kind of feel that this is what's going on within someone, all right? Um, it's picking and choosing, um, deciding what side of the fence you're on, making these real decisions for yourself. And, um, you know, this is very commendable because this is a super transformation that someone is engrossed in. The rebellion in reverse over this romance card, I kind of feel the energy in here that new romance or some type of romantic connection is coming through for you. It's in the middle of the spread, okay? The heartbeat. Um, and you can see the angel, the higher self, is bringing these two people together. The thing is, the spirit is asking you to not fight against this because you are worthy of this true connection that is coming in. Okay, and this romance card is um, earth energy, particularly Taurus, but it could be any earth sign to a lesser extent, okay? You could literally have Taurus in your chart. Um, this could also speak of a Gemini energy, okay? Um, and then with this Aquarius energy here in the reverse, I kind of feel the energy here. The spirit is asking you to really um, lower your guard, okay? Now, I don't, I feel like, Everything happens for a reason and in its perfect and divine timing. Spirit God Source knows exactly what it is that we need and want in our lives. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the Virgo in me. Okay. Spirit God Source, please provide clear and concise messages. What else do you want um, to come out on this board for the Aquariuses that I'm resonating with? Anyone with Capricorn, Gemini? Scorpio, Pisces, or Virgo. I don't think I mentioned Virgo earlier. Apologize for that. Okay, assertion, but this is was in the reverse as well. So a lot of reverse cards here. Okay, so again, I feel this energy of needing equilibrium. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like somebody is fighting a battle within regarding who they are, what they are, and the purpose of them being here, okay? I feel the energy here that, you know, this is Aries. It's in the reverse, but this is Aries' assertion. This is Mars also going retrograde, okay? Let's see. We have criticism upright, control upright, and loss reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have independence in reverse, inspiration upright, and power. I kind of feel this energy that what Spirit is saying overall, all of these cards, overall, um, we all deserve and are worthy of someone in our lives. I feel that I'm talking to an Aquarius who has been in a very independent state of mind, okay? Independently working, independently, um, you know, uh, doing their thing, whatever that is, working, home alone. This is for um, an Aquarius who is particularly almost acting as though they are a Cancer. Okay? Cancerian energy. Going in their shell. Being isolated. Virgo energy. Very hermit. Okay? Um, with this independence in the reverse though, Spirit is saying you deserve to have someone in your life also. With the moon here, this may be something Aquarius is thinking about. When am I going to have love again or when am i going to get the true love of my desire with the inspiration card up right here and the power card here 
I do feel this energy in here. The spirit is saying that someone is coming towards you. However, you may, I don't know. It's kind of like allow this person to come in, allow spirit God source to bring you what it is that you want. Because underneath it all, with the Scorpio energy, um, you want it, okay? And this person can not only um, bring love into your life, not only inspire you, not only, you know, um, and vice versa, not only inspire you or fulfill you, there's this level of this person could initiate more of your power, more of your strength, more of your courage. I kind of feel this energy in here that um, some of us want what we want, but we've been a little bit critical to ourselves about the things that have gone on in the past. With criticism here, secrets and innovation in the reverse, this could have even affected, unbeknownst to you, it may have affected your business, your outside world, created an imbalance or even a lethargic energy of... It's almost like being in a slump, being very much outside of your element. And I feel that we have really been picky, almost to a point where it is, um, it's, it's, it's been um, having the wrong effect, okay? Because, you know, this Virgo energy here, and I love my Virgos, I have Virgo in my chart as well. Um, but this energy here is looking at every single detail and not being satisfied because it's not perfect enough. It's not perfect enough. We're not perfect enough. And subconsciously, we may be thinking about that kind of stuff. And literally, it may be um, blocking our greatness, our innovation, our inventiveness, our uniqueness, our the, that that thing that we have as Aquarius is, is kind of preventing that. And so what I'm getting here is Spirit is saying, there's nothing wrong with wanting what you want, but relinquish a little bit of the struggle, trying to control what we cannot control, trying to get what we want, but we're realizing we don't have control over everything. That's what I'm getting here with the control with the control card coming out upright. This is Capricorn energy. It's trying to build what we want as, um, you know, build our world, build our physical reality and having control over the land, um, you know, sticking firmly to old beliefs, old patterns, old traditions and things like that. The world is changing. And there's, that's not to say to lower your values, but it's to say that everyone... There's room for flexibility. There's room for versatility. Not to just hold firm in this, in that fixated way. Because at the end of the day, the old paradigms and things like that are breaking down all around us, right? And so I'm also getting the energy here that there's um, something about... Um, staying true to yourself, to your core values, but like I said, having some type of flexibility and adaptability here, okay? I feel that someone is trying to manifest a person into their life, but, or even their business, whatever love is for you at this time. Everybody's not looking for a person, right? But there is an energy here of even money, inventions, entrepreneurship, Um being uniquely you. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's some type of quarrel going on with Aquarius within themselves and other people around us may be helping to trigger that, but it's mostly about you, Aquarius. I feel in the coming weeks, you're going to be a little bit more mild-mannered. You're going to be receiving a gift because you have let go of whatever you feel that you have lost, whatever you feel guilt or shame about, it's going to fall by the wayside and it is time for you to let it fall by the wayside. Okay. Um, if there's 
something that you are missing it's going to be given to you the thing is is that um don't rebel against it stop beating yourself up is what i'm getting i feel that what people don't understand is you know especially old souls because i'm, I'm thinking i'm talking to an old soul a sage they know the right things to say to everybody else they know how to give beautiful advice and they know how to keep other secrets and they know how to talk others off the ledge, so to speak. But um, we have to kind of give that to ourselves as well. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, overall, I feel that there is a level of growth with this order card that you are stepping into here. I feel like there's a level... Of that that you are stepping into yeah um spirit wants to give you a gapo love okay a gapo love now some of you you may be a mentor or you may be a teacher you may be a significant person in others lives but spirit is saying allow that to be given to you allow that to be a bestowed upon you you deserve it. You're worthy. Okay. You are. No matter what bad decisions or wrong turns you may have made in the past, all is forgiven. I'm getting redemption. There's this energy here that there's a difference between guilt and there's a difference between shame. Guilt is accepting that something has been said wrong, done wrong, or lost. Even if you can't get that person back you can't reach out to them and say you apologize they blocked you whatever and this roles can be reversed for the top chance pose but what i'm getting here is the important message of guilt is accepting the things that you cannot change forgiving yourself and moving on if you can make amends do that if you can um find someone to release this energy to help you release this energy do that but don't um, block yourself from these blessings that are trying to come in. You know what I'm saying? Shame is more of an energy of um, this is who I am and I don't deserve anything. And it's like um, swimming in the shame pool, right? Um, I don't know that you guys, you know, that anyone is doing this or not. This is the message that I'm getting, okay? With the secrets coming out first. You are blossoming. You are blooming. Everyone has made mistakes, and if somebody keeps throwing something in your face, like I said in the beginning, um, protect your energy, protect your aura. Yeah, judgment. So, yeah, there's some unfinished business within self. Judgment and the chariot. There's unfinished business here. Somebody may feel, Aquarius, that um because i'm gonna i'm gonna read this as this is you it could be someone else but someone has unfinished business within themselves with the judgment in reverse if it was upright i would say somebody's calling you up they want to renew something they want to talk to you but in the reverse this is not what this is not the case it's it's basically already done someone is being extremely hard on themselves but what spirit wants you to do is to move past this in an upright and very high vibrational way with equilibrium is what I'm getting with these two cards here. Okay. Um, very balanced energy. And again, protecting yourself. Okay. Yeah. Because there's some kind of loss. That card loss is right here at the end of this. So I feel that there is an internal battle here which um, can be and will be healed. I'm also getting, you know, anything high vibrational, music. Like, I feel like somebody's kind of isolated here. And there's nothing wrong with taking time out for self, but you, you got to kind of get out into the world. Turn on the radio. Turn on your playlist. Get into yoga stance. Do some... Do some free energy work, okay? Or, like I said, allow for and accept assistance or help or love 
All of those things that you give to someone else. What's this innovation in reverse? Yeah, someone has turned their back here with cancer energy. This is the mother of love. It's also your intuition, but this is agapo love. Okay, this is the mother of love. Okay, let's get another card. For this Holy Spirit, please, this card here next to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Spirit wants you to, with the Seven of Pentacles, I kind of feel like this is um someone listening to their intuition is what Spirit is saying. Listen to your intuition and um, not only your intuition, your higher self. Listen to your higher self and invest in yourself. So that you can have a new beginning. Creatively, boldly, bravely. Take action on behalf of yourself. Don't stay in your feelings. Don't stay in this cup. Okay? I'm not telling you to think your way out of it. What I'm saying is feel the feelings. Right? And then turn around. And follow, listen to your higher self and let your higher self move you. Let your intuition move you into this beautiful beginning here that you have with this inspiration in reverse. Spirit is trying to reverse this, this energy. But you've got to get out of this um, harsh, harsh narrative that you're giving yourself. Okay? Or if somebody else is doing this, then you know what? You need to block them. I don't feel that I don't feel that someone is particularly doing this. I feel like someone has said something or criticized you or you know planted a seed of negativity in some shape, form, or fashion here. At least that's what's happened in the past. And this past is like, you know, something that is still happening. It's still it's still going on. It's still affecting you. Rather, it was a long, long time ago or just last month. There's an energy here that this is still affecting you. And Spirit wants to reverse this energy. Spirit is trying to help you reverse this energy. We have free will with the judgment card there, right? We have free will. What is this criticism card about? So I guess I'm going to call this the Sunday motivation, okay? Self-love is the best love. Yeah, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, okay? This could have even came from childhood, all right? This could have been literally the challenge that you had with a mother figure of some type. Or you're the mother who had, um, you know, a mother figure may have created and implanted this in you. And now you're feeling that you're just like that person. Okay, but spirit is saying, stop criticizing yourself. Stop picking yourself apart. You are the Empress Aquarius. You are the Emperor. Okay, you are loved by the universe. You deserve and you are worthy of Ogapo love. Okay, that is the love of divine. With all of your flaws, with all of your mistakes, with all of your errors, with all of your uniqueness, with all of your beauty, with all of the good and all of the bad, okay? We all have dark and light. We all have dark and light. No one is perfect, all right? Spirit is saying, you are the epitome of the Most High God. You were made in the same beauty of the Most High God as everyone else, and you deserve happiness, nurturing. You deserve the legacy. You deserve love. You deserve partnership. You deserve healthiness. You deserve the crown. Okay? You do. Yeah, see, this was at the bottom of the deck, the tower. So I feel that um, someone has definitely gone through some type of tower moment that is um, it's meant to occur so that you can break out of this energy here of self-criticism and guilt, shame, or this inner struggle. I'm not sure what it is, okay? It will be different for everybody, but this is what I'm getting. What's this quarrel? What's this quarrel about, please? What's 
with the quarrel, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Okay. The ideal is what I'm getting with the um, Knight of Pentacles. The idealism or the this battle, it's been, you know, this is the only knight that actually finishes what they start. Okay. They are slow and steady to finish what they start. So what I get here is that Spirit is saying they are moving you. You are being guided through this inner struggle because I'm getting five of wands with this card. With the four, it talks about comfort. There should be a level of comfort between, um, you know, these two sides of the brain here. It should be equal, light and dark. Okay, you can see right there. Okay, I kind of feel these are the same people, but I feel this energy here. Like I said earlier, someone's in their feelings because this is cap um, Cancerian energy. Cancer is attached to the past emotionally. They're attached to the emotional past. That's, you know, that's what it is. Okay, and so spirit has for a long time now been trying to guide you towards a different place, a sunnier place, okay? So somebody may have been um, finding this internal struggle for a while, but finally, in perfect and divine time, and spirit is here to save you from yourself, okay? Because six of swords, Aquarius energy, okay? And both of these, the chariot and the six of swords talks about guidance. The chariot is literally the fool in the tarot deck. Getting in the chariot, having no clue where they're headed, but trusting the spirit God source is going to lead them to a very sunny place with all of this yellow. They have to be courageous enough and faithful enough to know that by spirit moving them past the past, upward and onward to a more beautiful, healthy, happier place is the best for them. It's going to actually be the best thing for them. And they're trusting that. Now, with the Six of Swords, this is Spirit God Source guiding you as well. Okay? As though you are, um, again, a child of the Most High God. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You are the epitome. Okay? You are made, wonderfully made, in the image of the Most High God. You are beautiful. You've been on a journey. You are quite experienced in that now. You are still with bountiful blessings like you have so much to give and to offer to the world spirit wants you to have someone in your life who can also give and pour into you you are supposed to yeah see knight of cups spirituality that's my spirituality card but it's also a knight in shining armor you are supposed to have love in your life as well you are supposed to have a companion in your life as well. You are supposed to be appreciated as well. And you are. Okay. These cards didn't want to turn over here. Okay. Yeah. So we have the three of swords with the nine of swords reverse. I like it because the three of swords talks about um, the heart being pierced. Okay. There's um, hurt. Pain, disappointment, betrayal, lies, not feeling love, but feeling, um, you know, there has been an injustice when it comes to love. <clears throat> However, like I said, the rebellion in reverse, the nine of swords in reverse comes out to say that we're getting over that. Okay. Especially with the three of swords, with the nine of swords, it lingers the six of swords energy. We're being guided past that. Not only past it, we're being healed. We're being healed. If we let our guard down enough, get out of our head, get out of our own way, we are being healed. We are being led by the angels. We are. Okay? Yeah. We're being given what we truly want and what we truly desire, what we've been really praying for. God's spirit source knows our heart, knows what we have been praying for. But we also have to understand that we only can get what we are ready for, right? We must trust, okay? Spirit knows what our truth is. Yes, we've been hurt, okay? But spirit knows our heart. 
there's redemption here. Someone is going to get peace of mind. Someone is going to be blessed um, in a very mighty, mighty way. And not only someone, a lot of people, many are going to be blessed with um, this abundance. The thing is, Spirit is saying, trust me, right? Don't rebel against it. Let your guard down. Find peace of mind. Rest your mind and be reassured that you will be given exactly what it is that you need, especially when it comes to this business. I feel for a lot of people, this is talking about some type of um, business, work, monetary um, things, but more than that, right? More than that, it's about, you know, love, peace of mind, agapo love, loving yourself, and giving yourself exactly what you give everybody else. I want to get... <laughs> Look at that. You see? The Ten of Wands reverse. This is letting go of the burdens. Period. Letting go of whatever people have done. Yeah. So that you can have not only financial freedom, which this is what that card is indicated, indi indicative of, but more than that, it's healthiness. It's happiness. Okay? It's contentment. It's wholeness. It's eating right. It's glowing and growing. It's entrepreneurship. But this is someone who is good. They're okay. They're healthy. Mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally grounded. And with the Six of Pentacles on this side, it talks about being in that balanced state, equilibrium. And literally, um, I want to say, getting a gift from Spirit God Source. And with the three of pentacles here, these are them talks. Those are those people who help us. They give us a leg up, okay? They um, combine their energy with ours and we feel great. So it's not truly just somebody being alone and doing it well on their own, no. This is somebody who's getting help, okay? They're getting assistance from Spirit God Source. This six of pentacles, six of pentacles for me is a gift. It's a gift of contentment. OK, it's a gift that keeps giving. It's an ebb and flow. The more energy we put into it and the more focus we put into um, being healthy and, you know, um, being content and taking care of our bodies, our mind, our spirit and our emotions, the more spirit God helps us and even sends earth angels through to show us through signs and synchronicities or somebody we could see, touch and feel that, hey, spirit is doing what you know we asked of spirit god source okay with the three of pentacles reversed with the six i mean with the um nine of pentacles it leaves the six of pentacles which is that gift that i was talking about okay so let's see what's this yeah <laughs> i was getting ready to say what's this control and the first card out here is the aquarius energy here right taking control of our lives but in a healthy way in our element being innovative being smart being um a leader they are an authoritative an authoritative of their own life right they are they're an authoritative of their own life and so with this control card here i was thinking about it and i'm saying is this being fixated about what's going on in, in the world no this is someone who knows how to detach from that kind of energy. Remember when I was saying there's something about protecting your energy here? With the Knight of Cups coming out here and the Six of Cups coming out here, I kind of feel this energy here where Spirit God Source is trying to move you spiritually away from the patterns of the past, okay? And have you look at things from a different perspective, okay? Getting quite clear about your past, getting clear about whoever this person was in your life in the past, getting very clear about this kind of thing so you can move through in a high vibrational way is what I'm getting, okay? Um, because remember I said the spirituality card is the Knight of Cups for me as a reader. Excuse the background noise, okay? But there's this energy here of someone needing to cut out what no longer serves them. And I like the fact that this is the king because the king takes action where the queen usually will ponder on it. Okay, so I like that. The king actually takes action action. They are an authoritative. They do it. They don't sit back and wait. This king of swords is literally moving into this energy of spirituality and literally um, taking back their power. 
Cutting out what no longer serves them in regards to their past. The past is the past is the past is the past. Okay, and there's a level of control here, and that's why I was expecting either the King of Swords or the Emperor to come out because they're the ones who are able to take authority and literally make a decision the best and wise decision for themselves, okay, and for others. All right, so we have the moon here in the reverse regarding this flattery in the reverse. We're getting clarity here, okay, we're getting clarity. We don't need um, you know, flattery. Like we don't need that. We know that, you know, our love comes from the source, period. Okay. So with this moon in reverse, I kind of feel this energy with spirit guide source guiding you in this direction. They're guiding you to clarity. Okay. No more illusions, no more false, um, ways of thinking, no more putting this, you know, putting this, I don't know, ugly, energy on you okay is what i feel all right yeah because somebody is literally putting their guard down here and allowing spirit to <laughs> guide you like it's no longer blocked whatever this is um whatever has been happening with you it's no longer blocked the energy is free to flow now spirit wants you to flow okay this is a heck of an almond okay with all of these simons sirens over and over and over again yeah i said simon by accident so it's simon says this and simon says that okay it's monkey see monkey do you're moving through illusions it doesn't belong to you it never has all right whoever has been critical to you rather it was a mother a father a sister a brother a ugly stepmother a ugly stepfather whoever this is even if it was a partner you're allowing the god given angel you're allowing them to guide you through this energy here okay i don't know who needs to hear this but i hope this message is um helping okay and giving you reassurance here okay because i really feel um that someone has been going through a battle or this is what somebody will be experiencing and sp spirit wants the message to be given out that you are worthy of all beautiful things. You have been beautifully and wonderfully made inside and out as we all have. And um, don't get caught up in your head. Surrender what you cannot control. Okay. Accept the things you cannot control. All right. And just allow spirit God's source to guide you. Because spirit only wants the very best for you. What is this um, assertion in reverse? Because that's what you're doing. Assertion in reverse is um, allowing without the rebellion, without the arguments, without the, you know, without it. Yeah. See, spirit wants to make you smile. I want to make you smile. Spirit wants to give you exactly whatever it is that you, you want. Ten of Cups is um, utmost fulfillment. It is everything you desire whatever that is okay whatever that is for you and with it being here for some of you this is um a new home maybe it's um expanding your business expanding your office maybe it's a new paint job maybe it is solidifying a relationship within your family okay maybe building bridges right mending fences Maybe it is allowing new love and happiness and joy into your life. But it is definitely on offer here. Okay? So let's get this last card of loss in reverse. For Aquarius Holy Spirit. Oh, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. ten of pentacles. Not only does Spirit want to give you stability security and everything that you desire when it comes to pentacles practicality the things you can see touch and feel money car house great abundance in material wealth but spirit wants to give you a happy nurturing relationship or relationships okay but you got to get right with you first right and that's the gift that keeps on giving okay that's the gift that keeps on giving here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's healing here. Self-love. Um, after some tears, after some 
really working through whatever this is. Okay? Yeah. Working through that constant struggle and maybe feeling as though you have been dealing with some type of karma. Okay? Um, spirit wants your light to shine. Spirit wants you to get um, clarity. Not uncertainty, but clarity. And allow your gentle spirit to shine. You're a star, Aquarius. Okay? All right? But in order to get the star, you know, it is the... Um, what is this? The 17th card in the tarot? You have to go through the tower to get there. Because the tower releases everything that no longer belongs to you. This is Spirit God's Swiss actually breaking everything down for you. If things feel like they've been crumbling, it's because Spirit is trying to guide you. Okay? And give you exactly what it is that you want. And show you exactly who you are. Show you the path forward. Okay? Something that keeps you keep going back back to and spirit is going to heal all of that for you okay is what i get so let's bring out this last card here oh those blew out um and let's close this out okay so the first thing we have here is listen it says people start to heal the moment they feel heard so like i was saying for some they're trying to run towards mending something but if this person has you blocked or you can't hear from them or vice versa okay um you had this person blocked, but now you, you know, it's weighing on your mind. You want to talk to them. They changed their number, blah, 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 whatever. The spirit is saying there's an earth angel who is going to allow you to feel heard. Okay. Talk to the most high God. Okay. Because spirit God source knows everything anyway. Like, right. The next um, thing we have is you see the good girl is crossed out. Um, or good guy is crossed out, but we have power here. Remember, we have power right down here. Okay, it says the ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is and own your own power. Yeah, taking back authority of your own life and cutting out these patterns of the past or holding yourself hostage to the past. Okay, and then we have oh, invitation to all these blessings to love support, pentacles, material wealth, innovation, innovative energies, just by simply allowing. See yourself for the beautiful being that you are. You can say, you can see this invitation. It talks about calm. It talks about love. It talks about beauty. It talks about joy. It talks about kindness. It talks about hope, adventure, and fun. All of these things that you deserve Okay, you deserve them. And it says the works, the words you speak are an invitation to your life, a request to bring energy into form. So choose your words carefully. And that's what I've been talking about all the while since this first part here came out. Secrets. Talk to yourself nicely. Own who you are. Speak nicely to yourself. The same thing that you do for everyone else. Give it to yourself. Spirit is going to help you get to this. Okay, that's what I have. And you don't have to do it alone. Um, beautiful change is coming for you in a very, very healthy and high vibrational way, Aquarius. Until next time, please take care of yourself and please just be free.